in this video I want to go over setting up create to engrave uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is position your blank on your mat and make sure that it's very secure okay whether you use tape or double-sided tape um, it just needs to be really secure and then when you put your mat in your machine put some books in front of it and behind it so that your mat is flat okay it can't sag in the back or in the front then what you'll do is place a nickel or a stack of 10 post-it notes on top of whatever it is you're engraving and then position the um, engraving tool on top of that put the tool in tighten it down and then remove the post-it notes or the nickel and then your tool is set all right so once that is done then um, find a blank I purchased my blanks from 143 vinyl and if you go to their website under blanks there are um, acrylics here and they have an SVG file for all of the acrylics that they sell there's different categories here uh, if you go to the uh, SVG files you can see all of the SVG files now these aren't designs they're just the shape and the size so like I'm using an LED base um, so I'm gonna use the square and if I click on that and I can save it right so if I go to let's see the blanks acrylics um, the LED bases and I find the square it tells me um, the size is six and a half wide so then I would just um, it probably tells me yes so it's six and a half inches wide by seven inches high all right so then I'm going to come to my software and I'm going to select that and make sure that it's six and a half wide by seven high all right and then I'll place whatever I'm going to engrave on top of that and then once I do that I need to make sure that this in the style panel is set to draw okay and then um, in the cut window I'm going to select WYSIWYG mode I'm going to have this box checked so I can use all of these settings I'm going to use the draw pen and I have made a preset which um, you're probably going to want to do if you plan on engraving quite a bit um, <clears throat> And then I have my pen holder set to zero zero because I don't need an uh, overcut or an uh, um, offset. And then I have this set to draw draw lines. I can leave that prompt checked. That doesn't matter. Um, and then my multi cut is off. And I'm going to engrave at pressure of 85. And speed of 8 my up speed is 10 now you're going to want to purchase you know maybe a couple extra blanks so that you can do some testing to see what kind of engraving that you like because if I want to let me go ahead and zoom in here <clears throat> I'll get a little closer if I want to just do my um, text what I'm going to do is a line fill okay I'm going to go to effects line fill and let me check the auto preview and so now if I turn my crosshatch to zero you can see that it's going to engrave these lines in there right well I may want that for my text let's do a 
zero fifty in or zero point zero fifty and see what that looks like. See it brings them a little closer. So let's do a thirty and that brings them even closer. So maybe I like that look for my text, but I want this to be solid filled. So I'm going to go ahead and make this 0 0.004. And I will leave this at 45 degrees. And I'm going to do a cross hatch of 1. And then click OK. Except what I did was I didn't select this. So let's go back. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah, let's come back to our text and come back to effects line fill. And I forget, I think that was 30, 0 0.030. Auto preview and no cross hatch. Okay, so I'll leave that at that. Okay, and then I will select the hat and come back to effects line fill and change this to 0 0.004. Hit enter, check the auto preview. I want a cross hatch of one and 45 degrees is fine. Now, it doesn't look like it did anything, but it did, okay? Once you click OK, you're just not going to see it because um, the lines are too close together. It's just, you know, filled in. So, uh, then what you can do is, uh, you know, you have this on your mat. Now, where do you set your blade? Well, your origin in the software is right here. So if you place this on a 12 by 12 mat, and let's say you put it in the middle of the mat, okay? And by the way, don't resize this. I don't know if I said that or not, but after you apply your line fill, don't resize it at all because it'll mess up your, um, your line fill. Okay, all right, so let's say that this intersects here and here on my mat. So I'm going to place my blade right here on my mat, and then I can <clears throat> select this and bring it down here to the corner because where that intersected now in the software is this point right here so that's what you need to do now you can come to the document and make this 12 by 12 so you know it's exactly in that corner <clears throat> and then you are good to go go to create see I don't know why that changes back um, draw pen Engrave, zero, zero, draw, draw lines, multi-cut off. You know, you're going to want to do your testing to see what you like best. Mine is 85 and 8. And then go ahead and create. And be sure to share what you have made in the groups. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, or you can find me in the Facebook groups. I now have two links in the description below for two Facebook groups. One StarCraft and the 143 Vinyl. So, thanks for watching.